Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here, and am Nelly's Endgame. I'm probably not pronouncing it right. The final Shadow Rider. I guess there wasn't seven Shadow Riders. Am Nail. I, why don't I remember how to pronounce this guy's name? Well, he took Chaz, Alexis, and Professor Banner's spirit keys. And now he's after Jaden and the final key. While searching for Amnail, Jaden and his friends were led to the abandoned dorm. Exploring the dorm, they discovered a mysterious cave with a large coffin in the corner. Pushing aside the cover revealed the mummified remains of Professor Banner. But to their greater surprise, Amnail emerged from the shadows and removed his mask to reveal that he was also Professor Banner in disguise. Two Professor Banners? Talk about deja vu. If you're you, then who's that mummy? Do not call me Banner. I am Amnail, your greatest foe. To get any of your friends back, you'll have to beat me. I think this was the point where the GX story really started to get kind of weird for me. Um, yeah, this is the end of the first season-ish here. And if you cannot defeat me, you will be joining them, all of you. Come on, Prof, snap out of it. It's best that you forget the one you knew as Banner. He is no more. What do you mean, no more? To understand everything, you must do just one thing, and that is to duel and defeat me, Jaden. Only then will the truth be revealed. Only then will the secrets be unlocked. Will you accept this challenge? Will you face me? Of course I'll face you. Let's throw down. I'm trying to remember if he's the one that had the sacred beasts in the first season. I think he did. Alright, um... I'm actually gonna go first. Just kind of hoping to start with a clayman that we can throw in defense mode. Or start with absolutely nothing relevant. Well... We do have Pot of Greed, so maybe this will turn into something avian. We have Future Fusion. I like this card. Oh, it's a banned card nowadays, but we can do stuff with it. Mariner. Mariner's new. He's here. Uh, while you have any face-down cards in your spell, the trap card zone can attack directly. Not that interesting. Flame Wingman is still pretty decent. Oh! Electrum. This, I think, is the one we want to summon. Let's fusion summon shuffle all banished cards into the deck. It gains 300 attack for each monster your opponent controls that shares an attribute. Another than that, it's got 2900 attack. Uh, why don't we future fusion that thing? I mean, we could future Fusion Tempest, but who wants to do that? So yeah, we'll set up a future Fusion. Yeah, we could future Fusion. I wouldn't mind doing a Wild Edge either, but uh, yeah, let's get the new guy out here. I believe he was featured in this duel. So we need that. Cinetrix, Clayman, and Avian. Those are all going to go to the graveyard, and in two turns we'll get to uh, fusion some of that. I'm actually not going to do anything else because I want to use a Skyscraper Avian combo to uh, attack whatever he's going to do here. He's going to Neo bug us. So yeah, we're going to take some damage. That's okay. Ooh, draining Shield, that could be useful too. So we'll start by playing the Skyscraper. We'll play Avian. And let's go attacking. We gain a thousand attack points, so that helps us. And this Draining Shield will help Avian survive to the next turn, where we will get our uh, Electrum. Now if Future Fusion is ever destroyed, Okay, he's gonna mill himself with that trap card. You can do that all you want. 
Oh, it's seven colored fish. It's Garuda the Wind Spirit. Okay, that's going to become problematic. Uh, we're not going to stop both of them, which is my problem with Draining Shield. Yeah, his deck is a little weird. I'm not seeing uh, the Sacred Beasts here. Yeah, this is only going to stop one attack. So, we're not going to stop that one. We'll stop the seven colored fish. Because we'll gain more life points by doing that. And future fusion, activate! And there is an Electrum. Oh, it shuffles all banished cards. I guess it's his too. Uh, what does his effect do? During your opponent's end phase, you can select one face-up monster and change its battle position. Well, we can't let you do that. That would be silly. We'll summon Clayman to deal with you. Uh, but since Electrum is getting a boost from his uh, attribute monsters, we'll attack with him first, because that's going to lower Electrum. And then we'll attack with Clayman, since Skyscraper helps him out power. And uh, we're sitting pretty good here. As long as he doesn't get rid of our Electrum, I think we're going to win this duel. And that seems to be the name of the game so far. Oh, Helios. Seems to be the name of the game so far when it comes to, uh... What in the world does this thing do? When it comes to this GX uh, saga campaign that we're playing through, just just get out your strong fusion monsters and then just run rampant with them. You control a Bersinatrix. Return all elemental hero face-up monsters on the field. Return all face-up elemental hero monsters to, to the hand, except for Bersinatrix. Very narrow usage. Uh, what does this thing do? Does it do anything? Uh, number of monsters removed from play by 200 points. If it's destroyed as a result of battle, it'll be special summon during the end phase, increasing its attack and defense by 300. That could become an issue. But we have to destroy it in order to get anywhere in this duel. We can't just keep uh, destroying it if it's going to keep coming back in defense mode. Yeah. Blade Edge could do piercing damage to it, but I want another... Oh, I'm going to want more than another monster now. Well, bye, Clay, man. And we're just going to keep drawing all these... Polymerizations. Um, during each of your opponent's standby phase, you may change the battle position of one of your opponent's monsters, and it must remain in that position for the rest of the turn. That's even more unfortunate. I can literally do nothing this turn. Hooray! We need, like, a uh, wild heart so we can use this polymerization in hand. Get me, like, a Reinforcement of the Army or E-Emergency Call or a Burst into Tricks. I mean, that's an option, too. It's not the option I wanted. Okay. I guess we'll play Burst into Tricks. Really don't feel like using Burst Return. Uh, let's get rid of that thing. Let's start attacking some of these face downs. It's a seven colored fish. And now it's not. This Helios. You know, we gotta watch him. Cat of Ill Omen. He gets to search his deck for a trap card and put it on top. Macrocosmos. That's going to remove everything. Um, well, cards that would go to the graveyard will get removed from the game instead. That's going to get dangerous because that's going to make his Helios stronger. That's right, he was a Helios uh, deck. Hero Signal. 
that might be able to do something eventually. But for right now, let's do a ton of damage to him. He has to be really careful now. Oh, destroyed Helios. Is that going to come back to bite us? No. It's only the Helios uh, duo, whatever that is. I gotta be careful about that one. Alright, he draws Macrocosmos, so he has Macrocosmos and one other card. Uh, we don't have the... We don't have the Steam Healer, the fusion between Bersinatrix and Bubble Man. It's not very good anyways. Most of them aren't, aside from uh, the ones you've been seeing me actually fusion summon. Go ahead, Macrocosmos. Oh, you can special summon Helios. Oh, I forgot the secondary effect. <laughs> because most Macrocosmos decks don't run the Helios cards. Uh, we're gonna attack. Yeah. Good thing we did play that Bubble Man, otherwise we would not be winning this turn and things would be really, really bad for us. Uh, but we won this turn, so hooray. The mummy is me. My body was ravaged by a curse and I knew what had to be done. I used alchemy to create a new body and I placed my soul inside of it. Not sure how you can just do all of those things, but okay. But it is only a matter of time before this body is a pile of dust in the wind. Professor Banner. Jaden, listen carefully to me, my boy. Everything I did was to test you. And to prepare you for the real evil to come. Yeah, okay. That is why I became a Shadow Rider. Not to take over the world, but to stop the one who is truly trying to. Plot twist of the century. The good guy who became the bad Shadow Rider was doing it because he's good? Yeah, like I said, the plot gets really weird at this point. You had to become a better duelist so that you could face him and hopefully defeat him. The threat is so grave that I had to deceive you. I hope that you can forgive me. It's over. He's gone. So what now? From what Professor Bander said, I guess we should be on the lookout for some terrible evil that wants to take over the world. Okay, but when aren't we, really? You got a point there, Cyrus. No, this is different. Banner gave his life to prepare us for this evil that's coming. I just hope we're ready, because whatever we're about to face is going to be unlike anything we've ever faced before. Ah, and the next duel is uh, Rise of the Sacred Beast. We get, uh, we get cards. Who do we have to face here? I'm trying to remember his name. The the ending uh, the ending characters for uh, each of the GX seasons overarching plot for that season. Uh, their main villains are kind of always weird. I thought. 